Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to talk about zero touch provisioning on the Checkpoint Quantum Sparks. Here I have the 1590 that I installed last time. If you haven't seen the video, the link is in the description. So last time I did a local install on the device. I was directly connected to the device. But now I'm going to talk about the option that I briefly mentioned last time. Zero touch will help you deploy or manage initial configuration on hundreds or thousands of devices. And if you are a small or medium business with a lot of sites to manage, or if you are a managed service provider, this is going to be very handy. You're going to be able to manage the initial configuration for all those devices through a single dashboard, the zero touch dashboard that I'm going to show you. So here we have a device, I'm connected to it locally. You can see the local IP here and we have some basic configurations and notice something here under users administrators i have only a single admin so far so i'm going to add a second admin with the new configuration that we're going to pull from the zero touch dashboard and we're going to have two administrators here what you have to do first is to have a checkpoint account here i can sign in into uh, my checkpoint account and if i don't have an account i can sign up here and i can also choose where i want to be sent after logging in i want to go to the user center and I will just sign in so now I'm into the user center and if you don't have your small business registered here you can do that by going under assets and click on my account like here I created one for KB trainings this is the, the account number for it and here I can add my devices and have an inventory of all the devices for KB trainings and if I want to see the devices that I have registered under my SMB I can go under assets slash info and click on product center and here we're going to have our products that we currently have right now I just have one this is the 1590 that I have here on the table and I selected my KB trainings account so this is good this is where you add your new devices if you buy a new device you want to add it to your SMB in this portal all the links are in the description of this video so you can go on this link to register a new device and you need two information you need the mac address of the device and you need your registration number you can get it when you buy the device or if you have access to the device you can go under home license and here you can see the mac address of your device as well as the registration key for that device so when you bring that here you plug in the two information click on next you should be able to register your device and it should show up here so once you have your device listed here then you can go in the zero touch dashboard to make sure that you have your template in place and i am on the link that is in the description so here i can log in using my same credentials that i use in the user center so i can log into here so inside the zero touch deployment dashboard, we have three options here. So first of all, we have the templates. This is where you can create a template for your devices. So when a device is claimed and linked to a template, it's going to grab that template and install it locally. So here we have the different templates and the second one will show us the claimed gateways. I haven't claimed anything so far, but I have all my devices under inventory. This is where all your devices you have a link to your account under user center will show up and you can then claim them on your account and link a template to it. So what we're going to do now is create a new template for our gateways. So I'm going to click on new and we're going to create one for an SMB for uh, the Quantum Sparks. So I'll do small office and I'll give it a name. I can call it initial underscore config. And for the comment I'll do, uh, do you want to send data to checkpoint? Yes, I can. Uh, do you want to switch the appliance to a sentry manage mode? Uh, no, not for now. But we're going to talk about the SMP or the security management portal um, in the next video. So don't miss that. And by the way, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to like it on YouTube to support the channel and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I share most of the behind the scenes on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there. It's also a good way to reach out. So if you want to text me or something, do it on Instagram. OK, so we don't want the manage uh, centrally managed mode for now it's not under construction so if your site is under construction you can add it but uh, select this option here so what country are we in United States for the wireless and my time zone and I want to use the the NTP servers from checkpoint that's fine so where do I want the administrator to have access from uh, from the land that's fine trusted wireless that's good VPN maybe not internet that's fine I'm going to show you how I'll have access to the device through its public IP as well 
and I can also do this from anywhere. That's good. So here we have to set the admin password. I just do admin password. And by the way, this is going to create a default admin called admin with this password that we're going to set here. So that's it for this tab. We can go under cloud services. Reach my device settings. You can allow connection when it's unreachable. When, for example, your device is behind the firewall or it's not reachable directly from the internet, you can set up this option. Or you can do all the SMP configurations as well. Uh, again, we're going to do SMP in the next video. So today we're going to ignore everything here. And I would just go under Clish. This is where you can write a script that is going to be deployed in your device. You can do something small or you can do the whole configuration here. But for today, I'm just going to do some small thing. I told you about the admin user that we had. Right now, we only have a single admin. But I'm going to add this script here. It's just going to add a new administrator. And I'm going to call him Guy. He is um, an admin. And this is the password. I didn't hide a password. I didn't do the password hash or anything. And then he has the read and write permission. So he is a fully uh, or super administrator. So that's it for now. And I'm going to click on apply. And that creates this initial config here that we're going to attach to our device. So then we're going to claim the device itself. So I go under inventory and we'll grab this device here and select claim. So from here, I can give it a name. This is going to be the host name of the device itself. So I'll call it KB Trainings 1590. And I'm going to link it to this initial config template. If I had any other template, or of course, you're going to have many templates over time. But I'm going to link it to this initial config here with the comment that I put in there. And then I click on Apply. All right, everything is good. And if I go under claimed gateways, you can see that we have our gateway here and we also have some details, but we don't have much because the device hasn't reached out yet. Like right now, we have we don't have the IP address of the device. We don't have the status of the deployment or anything like that. So our device is just fine. So I'm going to go in the back and unplug my computer and just leave the WAN cable. So this is the cable going to the internet. You don't need to have an expert on site. Anybody can do it. If you have like the restaurant manager, you can tell him just plug in the, the internet cable on the WAN port and turn the device on with power. And that's it. So I have my device. What I'm going to do is factory reset this device here. Of course, I'm going to grab my pin that I always have on my keys. As a tech guy, this is very helpful for SIM cards or resetting devices like here. So I'm in the back of my device uh, and I'm going to insert this in the factory reset hole here to click the button. And we're going to keep our eyes on the device here. Let's see, I just clicked on it. Now it's, um, it's pink. So I'll keep it for maybe like 15 seconds or something. It's, all right, I think it's good. I can release it and give it some time to, to boot up. Okay, so we can see that the power light is now solid. The internet light is also solid. And I bet that if we take a look at the dashboard, we should have, we should have details on this device. So if I come here and I refresh, yep, you can see that we now have the public IP of this device. And we know that the device successfully downloaded the settings. So now the device should be up using this IP. So what I'm gonna do, because I load the access from the internet, I'm going to open my browser, do HTTPS, put the IP and add the 4434, which is the, uh, the port, the default admin port. And yep, I have access to the login. And here I can use admin and admin password to log in into my device remotely. And this is very good, very convenient. And let's also go into the device and confirm that we have the new user that we created. Under user administrators, we have Guy, which is the new super user that we added to the configurations. All right, guys, that's all. That's how you can deploy your device using zero touch deployment. And as I said, very helpful for multiple sites. You don't have to manage every single site locally. And it's very helpful if you are troubleshooting and need to factory reset your device. You at least know that you can link it to a template. And once the device comes online, 
it's going to be using that template and you can do whatever you want after that. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you are studying for the CCNA, I have a course available on kbjoins.com. It's there from zero to engineer and will help you get your CCNA. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.